Hi, I just wanted to share um, a mini that I just got done doing for my dog. Um, I made this from paper towel holders and um, the, the front and the back are cut from the Pluto dog bone out of the uh, Mickey and Friends cartridge and I just cut it out of a cereal box and covered it with paper. The letters here on the front are they're metal from the Memory Keepers um, metal letters and numbers and I just put them on with some glue dots and I added a rub on here it says woof and a couple of um, I don't even know what these are called they're like gel adhesive dots but I put a couple of them in red and clear and added some to the letters and such and all my pages are um, edged in chestnut roan ink and I added uh, the eyelets to each one of the pages and the fibers that I put on here some of them are from my stash some are from the bottle swap that I did and I received from Tammy and they worked really well with the papers that I used in the mini album so okay so there's the first page his name is Gator he's a, a puggle and these papers, I don't even know where I got these papers. They were in a paper pack that I got um, a while back. So this is a picture of him and my son when he was two months old. Uh, and I just journaled on the inside. I made that a pocket or a flip open paper page. And... This is one of the uh, paper towel whole rolls, and that's a picture of him when he was a baby. He was um, a couple months old there, and I I tore the edges of this paper and inked them up and tried to roll them a little bit. Um, I'm not so sure I like the way it came out, but it looks okay, I guess. And... Here's a tag. This is a dog tag that I cut out of the uh, Santa Salute cartridge. And <laughs> see the red dot from my my camera. Um, and this also flips open. I put a little um, one of the frame turns on here. And I put a little stamp on there. I rough you and a little journaling on that page. And I added piece of ribbon with this brad that I've had and on the back I just put plain white paper and I used this chipboard flourish that I had I sprayed it with a uh, glimmer mist and I think in brick and just put that on there to cover up the back of the brad so that's that page and my next page I like this picture of him he looks so cute and just opened up and for journaling there. I kind of kept this pretty simple. Um, I mean, he is a boy dog, so there's not much I can do to put a lot on his pages. Um, this one, I just matted this picture. It doesn't do anything. And I had this chipboard heart that I glimmer misted in... What did I use? A pink color and red over it and then I just stamped cute with some letter stamps that I had and again it pulls out and I used a um, paper clip dog bone paper clip that I had and added a couple flowers and on the back I didn't put anything on here yet I have some more pictures that I want to print out and put in here and the next page is a picture of my husband and the dog sleeping on the couch and I used I just put a stamp here with some paws and journaled on the inside. And this is a Tim Holtz fragment that I I cut out the word nap from one of the other papers that I had and used glossy accents to attach that. And here he is sleeping in his bed upside down. And another tag. 
with him. Looking, he was just when he was young. And again, I used um, the ribbon and poked a hole with my crocodile and put a, a dog bone brad on there. And on the back, I just used a button to cover that up and room for more pictures. And here's another picture. Just this one I didn't mat. I just put a strip of blue paper that I edged in chestnut roan and just stuck a little chipboard saying on there. And the last page, there was a picture of him. He's actually waiting for my son to come with the school bus to drop him off. And I'm going to add some journaling on here as well. And that is it. And I hope you like it. Thanks.